Bottom. I'm a bit surprised at how much the Void's actually getting bottom. Looks like a bang. Should be our first blood. Orc still very strong inside the lane, but of course, a bar. Only a double stack though. And they're gonna get him. They're not gonna tip it, they're taking a fight instead. Upping again, getting chased down. And they'll lose Tim's. Tim's has gone really deep for this, but he might not die and they might get the void instead. And the Jay-Z, plenty of damage up for the Astral. It'll be a long chase down. They should get him. Time walk, only level three, so. Yeah, he's gonna go down. This is a great rotation out of the Elder Titan. Ready for it, though. Bring down multiple members. So, I mean, he's probably gonna die in the Chrono. So let's see if the rebuttal is there. Can he even get the roll off before his death? A spiteful ultimate the last second secures the kill onto Jing. And this is a fight that Arbet's gonna take with an arcane rune as well. And we'll back up for a bot. This gives a bit of a window for Arbet. Now he's gonna be able to zip on over the top. Should have the remaining damage. No, time walk again back up. It's not gonna matter, man. The spam is spells Arbet versus Arbat. Spossy back up as well. In some trouble. There we go. That's the setup. This should be a kill. If miss the stun, it's not gonna matter. Radiants are scanning for enemies. Die though, but there's that roaming duo once again. Tim's. Run and break the smoke. And they won't need Chronosphere for the kill. Let's. Who's the target? The health they're gonna have to go through with the willing death from the trees, they will do it easy. That Onto Tim's. This is just so aggressive. No way. The capability they have to be able to kill the Dragon Knight with ease. And they might just go all the way around. Yeah, there's a freebie. And now they're just, they're not going to stop there. I mean, Captain's even, he's running high ground. He's still boss crew there. And they're going to jump in. They've got the core up, they've got the ice boss. Three big abilities used just for the Beastmaster. And now it means they have nothing left to be able to help your way. So the less truck just gets chased down up to the higher ground. So yeah, you kill off the beast. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. This is uh, definitely, definitely worth the extra money you have to spend on buyback. You guys blessed. They would like that to come into actually getting the AO by shot would be nice. Not with them. Gabby's in a pretty good spot to pop the smoke. And they've got the creep shortly for the vision. Now the Ashle as well is gonna scout them out. Ice blast should be quick and easy kill to the Beastmaster. Echo Stomp does disrupt them. But it's actually just gonna cover the retreat. A quick TP from Palos and MJZ. Dire stop power. No way. No way. Oh, no. Stepped a little bit too far. Felt like he was free to farm this way. Limit cave. MJZ is actually starting to go for it. Let's see. Cuckoo's gonna poke a little bit. Try and force some reactions out. Siege will get a little bit chaotic. Especially with all the AOE. You've got split up the layer on the ground. smoke out here so darling first real big move from them you have a win waker though so what's going to be able to do to disrupt some of the combinations in these team fights scoop
spot is getting shoved out. Not a concern yet, but it might be. Jump on Palos. And it's just Chrono in. Oh, the outskirts. Oh, no. The last Chrono was great. This one, it's not good enough. And this is a huge window now. And it's just going to run into get Roland. Oh, no. You need a rinse and a repeat on the void. Because now you're always lassoed. And he turned the tides. You're always doing a bunch of it. You're down with Palos. is complete. And then Mano does not matter. Fight even with a butchered chrono and the void having zero impact. Last one. Do Radiant want their little power? To it's a big buyback out of power loss. They've shown the capability to be able to kill power loss this game. Gabby as well with the jump in. You're gonna eat the ice blast. Again, you're playing without the faces for it. So the respawn's coming up. Maybe you get the barracks with the Elder Dragon form illusion. Yes, you should. Thanks to the TV. Now you're gonna go out bottom. Full set of barracks. What? Okay, ice blast flying out across the map. It'll take a little bit of time to get there, though. Damage. They have a great ward. They have a great ward. Unfortunately, that Radiant instantly smoke as well, so they're going to lose that advantage. Now, Jimmy's currently not with the team. We'll actually TP down now. Radiants are scanning for enemies. They're back into each other. And a bot. For his previous impact in that last team fight, it didn't matter in the end. He would still love to have a better chrono. Keep them in control for this next Roshan Cuckoo. Over the top of the tree line, giving them all the information they need. Oh, cautious, cautious, my friend. The one, of course, can always time walk out. Elder Dragon forms out, but it's only a, like a 15 second window. Creeps are inside mid lane as well. Radiants are scanning for enemies. They take everything. Fire against the counter, the rules is very important. The Wind Waker in particular. Now, how do you defend? You, you've got one dragon with catapults hitting T4 Tower, which someone needs to deal with. These, the tower's actually falling. They will, you're, you're losing bottom as well. Take 5v5 fights? I mean, like, Palos is shoving top. That tower has fallen. Gabby's yeah, outside the base. A bang? Gabby, Gabby! He's the top of the Aeon. He's going to assemble the meme over the corner. Next up to a secondary target as well. At least they do have buybacks. But you have Refresher Shard that instantly gets put inside the inventory. Palace pops the BKB, but uh, he just great discipline for the boy. <laughs> Happy with the jump. It's a dragon knight. It's 100 health. You're not touching him, and now that's a die back. Gabby's gone in an instant. Nice under, and now they'll jump back over the top. Ice blast the flight. 
Multiple heroes drop on the deck. And now they do so with a dieback. That'll give Darling game one victory in our qualifying series. Right.